On to the show. This year we have four ju uh, three judges um, right here in the front, um, and they are going to be judging the acts. We have ten acts this in this year's show, and we're going to have prizes for first, second, and third place, as well as a crowd favorite award, just so that y'all know. Um, I want to introduce you, for those of you who might know the judges, just briefly, we have Dr. Chandra Koble, um, Assistant Professor and Director of Pre-Doctoral Endodontics at Movie School of Ministry. <laughs> Mrs. Trisha, Mrs. Trisha Key, uh, the School of Ministry's Preclinical Dentistry Laboratory Coordinator. John Winters, Assistant Professor in the Department of Restorative Sciences and Co-Director of the D1 PCD course. <laughs> they are donating their time for free tonight, so thank you, thank you, thank you, all three. Um, without further ado, I would love to introduce you to this year's MCs for tonight. Uh, give it up for Jeff Reeves and Jeff Benson. You know, Jacob, welcome to everyone. 2023 UAB School of Dentistry Alumni Week and Variety Show. I'm your co host. That filling was supposed to fall out, Benson. <laughs> yeah. Jeffrey Benson. Jeffrey Benson. I do have the first name. Yeah. And I'm joined tonight by my lovely assistant. No, nope, full co host. Full co host. Thank you. Jennifer from Boards Lesion Straight to Indo Reefs. Yes, I'm really good at finding the pulp. Princess of the pulp, that's me. Thank you. Well, Jen, speaking of of boards lesions. Right now, we're currently screening patients for licensure. So if you have it, be sure to head up to the bar and grab yourself two to three more rum and coats. Hold, Hold the rum. Mm -hmm. And we'll be sure to see you in the uh, the lobby after the show. Yeah, y'all come find Y'all come find me and Jeff. He's really helping out. He wants those live patient lesions yep. so that he doesn't have to do restorative at least two to three times That's on right. mannequin. Yeah. As Dr. Winters told me in PCD, third time's the charm. That's right, we are big, we are big day three people, That's me right. and Jeff. So, Jeff, I can personally guarantee that guarantee. this live variety show is gonna be the best live variety show we've had in at least two to three years, if I had to guess. Um, so if everyone wants to grab your programs, Good. look yeah. through, Take a look. look through everything we've got tonight. We're gonna be making our way downtown with Vanessa Carlton, gonna be vanquishing White Walkers, with a piano and a violin. Just like that. And we're going to be viewing a glove routine that fits so well, it would send OJ straight to jail. That's right. <laughs> so funny. 2023, we're still doing OJ jokes. That's right. Now, Jalen, if I understand this correctly, we're going to be joined tonight by the pocket Beethoven of the first and second year class. Okay. Yep, original compositions here. Wow. And what really got me excited is when I saw Jack Johnson. Mm -hmm. On the menu. And since I'm 34 and unemployed, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, last time I remember this it was kinetic pancakes. So I was happy. I was excited for that. Yeah, I told Jeff not to make a Jack Johnson joke because I told him, Jeff, someone's really gonna have to fix you. <laughs> <laughs> Once I'm done with you after making that joke, yeah, it's really funny. Everyone, thank you. Yeah. Okay, folks. In case you can't tell, we're gonna need more help from. You tonight, and I need for this mustache I'm currently growing out for the D4 composite picture. Respectfully, it looks like you just finished the sugar cookie. It was delicious. <laughs> you know, speaking of delicious, and sugar. <laughs> you know, just speaking of delicious. We are so incredibly grateful for our judges. I'm not sure about the segue, but we are thankful for them. <laughs> so, um, we just want to, you know, give a shout out to them. So, Dr. Pobel, thank you so much for teaching us Irrigate. Recapitulate, obturate, just name of the game. Ms. Keith, uh, thank you for um, looking over me, the protector of PCD, upon these performers tonight. Let your light shine brightly. Hey, Dr. Winner, you know, you thought you saw the worst of me in PCD, but you never saw any of my dentures in D3. That's right. <laughs> just, just were terrible, but mine, my first denture, was what our faculty coined a refund upon delivery upon my uh, first denture. Jim, it sounds like someone needed to attend financial inclusion. I did. That's what my signature says on the sheet from yesterday. I did attend uh, financial inclusion, but regardless of my attendance yesterday, tonight, this first performance, money. It's gonna be money. You're good. In fact, it's gonna make all of you forget the next two to three minutes about the distal of number 15. Every distal of number 15 you've ever seen is just, you're gonna have to recreate it. It doesn't exist, just um, extract the plant. They're gonna make you brush and floss your teeth 
to the beat. <laughs> so please join us in the next two to three minutes in welcoming up to the stage Forrest, Elon, and Sam in their composition of Jack Johnson's song. If ever. Thank you. a minute for those things to turn Sometimes try to, oh, but I can if I can hold. 
we please welcome up to the stage the Scorsese, Tarantino, Spielberg, and Shyamalan of the class of 2026. Come on over here, gentlemen. Come on over here. Come on over here. Come on over here. Come on over here. So I imagine that video took you one to two, maybe two to three hours to prepare. Yeah, that sounds all right. Um, I'm honestly very impressed. Where yeah. did you record the audio for that? Like, is there a studio someone has? Yeah. Um, so it's not much of a studio, but it's my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever does the trick, you know? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so what was your inspiration for the song? Um, we were kind of tasked with like uh, making an intro video to the class, but Zach here is a phenomenal songwriter and producer, and he had already like kind of started writing something about this new season of life. And then he asked me to just kind of help him out with the song a little bit, and perfect timing because we needed a video anyway. So who were who were actually singing? Who was actually singing in the song? So, so it's all you. Uh, in caps here. Zach, yeah, it was, uh, yeah. Josh and I. Nice. Okay, unrelated questions here they come. Um, so smash or pass learning dental anatomy. Bar pass. I'm smash. Okay, <laughs> smash. Okay. What, what about gross anatomy? Is it cadaver lab? Smash. Big pass. That's an unethical pass. <laughs> no answer. Respect. You're up. Uh, <laughs> All right, we have a pass from him. Yeah. So, final question. We'd love to hear from y'all. Highs and lows of since this video was shot in PCD. A first year PCD from y'all. Um, they're, they're all pretty high and pretty low. <laughs> very specific, very telling of your experience. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank Anyone you. else know something just as specific? I was first, first wax up practical when our egg low was my first like hand tease preparation. <laughs> Dr. McLinney said it looked like the Panama Canal. <laughs> That's inspirational. My, my personal, never yeah, my personal high with PCD was the one and only time I passed a bridge exam on the first day. My personal low was last week when I passed out in there. So, <laughs> you're doing great. It's definitely get better. Yeah. Well, thank you all so much for coming on up here. Awesome. Alrighty, folks. Well, it's stage up. We're all over again with this next act. So, if you see, if you think you've seen this guy before. You've actually passed that bridge exam. Yeah, don't think again, you're correct. That's right. So please welcome back to the stage future Dr. Samuel Story and future Dr. Dalton Wright. Thank you. Woo! Sing it if you don't.
So I'd love to hear from y'all. How long have you been uh, plucking the strings and tickling the ivory? <laughs> uh, since seven? Seven? The age? So what, so it's three? 20, 20 years? 20 years. Okay. All right. Sorry, age <laughs> also said seven. Seven. Okay. I, I started piano at seven and lasted about seven months. I think I, think I lasted seven months. I think I can do that tonight. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we love to see friendships form across mm -hmm. classes. How do you two know each other? How did you figure out you could both play instruments with really cool songs? So we go to the same church, so I kind of find out that he plays piano there, so uh, I guess. Nice. I actually knew his uh, brother in college, and so I heard about him way back in the day. So and it's like, hey, let's play. Incredible, the world is the size of a pea, truly. Yeah. So Jacob, uh, you're a D3, and Edwin, you're a D2, as we already mentioned. D1. D1? Right. That's impressive. Sorry, we forgot how to read. Uh, uh, so, uh, we usually don't have to do um, So, Jacob, how do you feel like um, playing the violin is going to help Edwin next year with his first board of movie experience? <laughs> He might have better hand skills than a lot of people who don't play violin. Well, in the words of Dr. Shoes, so good. So good. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. Our next act is from future Dr. Heath Padgett. And you know what, Jen? Well, okay, yeah. We're not going to draw it on any longer. We'll let him do his thing. Well, do his thing.
Give it up for Heath Padgett. Heath, come on over here. We only talk on this side of the stage. That's right, this is, we're this side of the stage. Yeah, keep on coming. Anatomic lifts. Perfect. So, Heath, um, a lot of locations there, uh, or maybe just one, and I got really confused. <laughs> but um, can you tell us a little bit about the locations, uh, where you shot, and kind of you know what your decision making was there? Yeah, so um, it's actually a mixture of a whole bunch of places that you probably saw the end, uh, ranging from Maine, Connecticut, a lot of places here in Alabama. Um, so it's really just a compilation of some of my favorite memories, favorite places I've been. Um, so what stood out to me is there's some footage of you rowing. What's up with the drone? How are you moving that when you're rowing? We can't. It doesn't work yeah. for us. So, um, fun fact, I actually built the, that boat. Um, so that was um, a fun thing. That's a town. Um, so, that. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the drone, it can actually track you. So I had the controller in my lap and I actually self-filmed the footage of me. Um, on my boat that I built. Hmm. Wow. Um, more question. Have you ever uh, run into any buildings with the drone? Yeah. Um, as you saw, kind of near the end of the clip, and it's like a mountain brick going up, um, at the very end you see a tree branch. I was like an inch away from the end, so I almost did. But one time I was flying it um, and not paying attention and going up again, um, and there are these power lines. And I clipped um, the blade with the power line. Um, and That's it actually lost power. started <laughs> to fall. I was like, oh no. This was the first week I had the drone. I was like, oh no, right. I just lost all this money. And it starts to fall, recalibrates, and gently lands. I was amazed. And that's not a sales pitch, is it? <laughs> but it's amazing. <laughs> you, anyone can fly it, it's so easy. That's awesome. Well, yeah, you haven't seen a, a hand piece in my hand, so don't say, don't to you. Don't say too much. So, how, you know, speaking of hand piece, how do you feel like drugs are going to affect dentistry in the next 20 to 30 years? Well, um, you know, sometimes when I'm in the clinic, I'm like bending over to kind of see in the mouth. Well, if I, if I had a drone that could just fly and like hover right over the patient's mouth, Look up at a screen. I see that as you can be kind of nice. I'd go to that kind of dentist. 100%. And um, I should have brought it when the clinic was 95 degrees. Um, if I had that drone hovering above me as a nice little fan, that would have been really nice. Premium. Premium. One last question for you, That's right. So, would you rather eat? One piece of IUX every day, right. or take every shower with a water pick. That's tough. <laughs> um, you can think on it. I probably wouldn't want to eat the IUX every dress, so I'd probably go with the water pick. But it need to be the kind, you know, that kind of does the cone spray. Mm -hmm. I don't brush um, my teeth. So. And then, <laughs> if it's like the cone spray water pick, then that that'd be kind of like a shower, but it'd probably be just fine. All right. Water pick it is. That's the book world. It's perfect. Thank you, Heath. Thank you so much, Heath. So, next up, we have um, who we've already met, the D1 Scorsese, uh, Josh Holsey. He's going to be presenting his own original piece. So, if y'all welcome to the stage. Sometimes 
sometimes I don't know we see me. Sometimes I don't see what's going on, but I feel the rain drop caught in the storm, and I see the sun, and the light keeps going on. It's you, and I know you need all of me. What you go into your love, and my strength comes from my love, and I know I need you.
Jacob, you lost the hood mid performance. Tell us the story of the hood. Um, <laughs> guess it fell off. That's just show me this. Um, Jen, I know you had a question for Jacob. You're right. Uh, what type of secrets do you think Princess Leia kept between her buns on her head? Wait, wait. <laughs> I think the actual plans to the Death Star, but Ooh, you know they destroyed it. I guess you have to ask on, on Solo. It's a very great point. <laughs> so to you have no music up there. How long do you practice till you get to the point where you can act and play piano like this? I don't know, it takes me a while, but I enjoy it a lot. I don't know. This one was meant a lot to me though, because I actually kind of arranged this one on my own. So it's my first time doing that, so it's really cool. He's been doing it since seven. Uh, is, that a, is that the first time you've done that? No, I've been at Jack Sparrow and I've been Harry Potter. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm here again with another clown question. Um, Smooch, Mary, Kill. We've got Chewbacca, Jabba the Hutt, and R2-D2. Okay. Um, Mary R2-D2, he's just so fun. Mm. Um, I feel like killed Jabba the Hutt, sorry. And um, I guess we should walk. All right, sounds good to me. And, uh, <laughs> and then I'll last, last super important you know. question here. Yeah, this is What's a big question. your favorite song on the Cop Care playlist? Mine is Soak Up the Sun by Cheryl Crow. I'm a year Look forward to it every day. <laughs> oh, I was going to say year 3000. Okay, my sec after year 3000, I think it's the, the Breathe one by, I don't know who Oh, yeah, Michelle Branch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, procedures, and I'm like, just breathe. I like that one. So yeah, I just tell people. The Climb by Miley Cyrus also a good choice, for sure. I usually, I usually get to hour three on that crown prep and I, I judge it by the year 3000. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Good for Jacob. Next up we have another virtual performance. So it's from a man who has the charts for staging and grading tattooed across his chest. Which means a lot for Periodonis, considering they'll probably change it by the time we graduate. So, so this is Dr. Brett Silvers with a performance dub to the story of the love. Side. With all these promises we made, they'll end up broken We're going through the motions, only one of us survives So go, leave me here on my own Break me down to my bones, I'm better
Put up, give it up for Dr. Brett Silvers. Come on up. Now come on over here. You gotta be on this side. Come on, man. I know. I'm periodontist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hit a three. Next time I see you, aren't I? Yeah. All right. That's right. I know. I know that's the answer. Can you? So Brett, you've been involved in the variety show since I was a first year dental student. So can you kind of tell us, you know, how long you've been involved and in sort of the history of the variety show? Um, so yeah, my second and third year in dental school, I was on the variety show leadership team. So if we can give one round of applause for everyone. Um, I know it's a lot of work, but it's not easy. So thank you guys for the time. I know everyone appreciates it. Um, and yeah, this is my fifth year. This, uh, I missed last year, but it's good to be back. Well, awesome. Um, the question I have, and this is the question I've been wanting to ask you for years now, but what is your favorite stage and grade of periodontal disease? <laughs> periodontal health. <laughs> That's what I said, periodontal shit. That's right. And Don't so, make a lot of money with that one, though, do you? Uh, <laughs> Alright. So, my question is have you ever tried this with mittens instead of gloves? Uh, is there a difference? <laughs> Yet found a pair of mittens online that have those light ups in their tips, so um, I'll have to keep my eye open. Okay. I can't say I've got any experience with the mittens. There's no story of mittens either. Oh. Next year, song for another time. Have you considered performing this for a patient during a, a conscious sedation? <laughs> no, we, we joked about this. Um, I feel like you, you open the door for a lot of medical legal stuff by doing that. Um, so, I mean. But you did say you were all about the patient. If it was requested, I think I'd have to comply. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I'm your patient. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I want you to ask this question. Okay. So, biggest glovespiration here uh, Michael Jackson or OJ Simpson? <laughs> okay, well, OJ. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. We love it. Everyone doing that as you will. Thank you. We'll give it up for, for Brent Silver's folks. <laughs> Please give it up for our next act from the second year class. The only act from the second year class, if I read the program right this time. The three T's.
so one last question. So as a collective fifth out of five dentists, what toothpaste would you recommend in lieu of Crest? I'm a, I'm a big Sensodyne guy. I'm not gonna lie. Sensodyne feeling fine. Anyone else? I, I, I dry scoop the baking soda. Okay, rogue, arm and hammer. I like the Bonfetti toothpaste for kids. Delicious. Sugar based? Absolutely. Perfect. Never trust the fifth dentist, okay? Stick with yeah. the other four out of five. That's right. Thank you all. Well, give it up for the three T's. I felt like this when the patient handed me back the filling that I had just placed. Yeah, and I felt like this during the MMR moment that Cross faculty left in the middle of. So, this is Fix You uh, by Lauren Anderson and Ilan Williams. Give it up.
doctor, fourth year dental student, Mr. Stephen Beer. Here he comes. Thank you.
too few to mention. I did what I had to do and saw it through without exemption. I planned each charted course, each careful step along the byway. Come on, sing it with me. I did it. That was beautiful. My way. Yes, there were times. Maybe two to here. I'm sure you knew when I bit off more than I could chew. But through it all, when there was doubt, I ate it up and spit it out. I faced it all and I stood tall and did it move. and cried, I had my fill, my share of losing bridge, and now as tears subside, I find all of school so amusing to think I did all that. I say, not in a shy way, oh no, oh no, not me, I did it my way, for what is a man, what has he got, if not himself, then he has not. To say the things he truly feels And not the words of one who kneels I took the loans, the record shows And did it my way Yes, it was I also 
want to thank my amazing committee. Um, Y'all, do you want to come out from behind the curtains for just a second? Um, they have worked extremely hard. We've had multiple meetings. Um, they are representatives of all the classes here, and they all put up with me a long time. Christina, Ethan, Brina, Sharon, um, if you all want to just come out, and thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Any word on the judges? They flat out ignored me. They flat out ignored you. Intense deliberation. Intense deliberation. Yes. They're coming. Cool. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Welcome back, judges. <laughs> judges, I believe y'all all have mics. I'm not sure if they're on or not, but we'll check them. Perfect. Any comments from any of you judges? Well, if I thought I had a hard job managing PCD, you guys up the game tonight. So, um, wonderful, wonderful job. I'm gonna try not to cry. <laughs> uh, the last little video montage was a wonderful tribute to Dr. V. Thank you. I just want to say that I think all of you guys are amazing. Um, it takes a lot of effort to put this together, a lot of courage to get up there and perform. So glad to see a root canal, um, even if it was PCD, tied into the story. Love all of you guys. Good luck. I thought you were wonderful, and I just want you to know that one of you is my favorite student. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're all my favorite, so let's go ahead and push through this. Are we doing it bottom up? Yes. Okay. Yes, please. People's Choice Smooth.
Thank you all so much, and have a wonderful evening.